So lots is dead level trench drain. Uh, in our design, we listened to contractors. Mm -hmm. Contractors came to us and said, we like this, we don't like this, we'd like to see it with this, we'd like to see it without this. Um, so we really took a lot of those ideas around the design of our dead level trench drain. Mm -hmm. And that basically starts with, obviously, a uh, polypropylene trench itself. We use a tongue and groove system on each of our sections. So one foot section and okay. four foot sections. So the longer one here. Yeah. Longer one here. Uh, if you've got a you know a ten foot run, obviously two four footers and mm -hmm. two single pieces. The unique thing and nice thing is each of our trench sections has a cutout in it. As we know, outlets change on job sites quite a bit. So having the ability to have an outlet, a four inch outlet, in all of the sections of the trench mm -hmm. just helps you uh, in laying out your your design. But moreover, on trench. It's, it's kind of had an evolution, right? So you had your pre-cash, you had all this stuff. We get to dead level. What makes it dead level? Sure. So in talking with our contractor base, some of the, the, the comments that had been made to us was, geez, you know, we really like to have a, a trench drain that, you know, in the past we've had to cut pieces of plywood. Oh, yeah. Or certain things to hold the shape of the actual trench itself during Form the concrete out. pour. Yep, yep. So we took that, listened to it, and when we designed our, uh, this is a ductile iron frame, we made a locking uh, ductile iron frame that interlocks with our polypropylene trench. What I mean by interlocking, like that, it slides over and locks together. So you can pop it in there or actually kind of orchestrate the whole thing in, right? Slide Absolutely. It. Okay. Slide it in, and this alone, you can make your pour if you needed to. You could make your pour. Nothing now, else needed. Nothing else needed. Okay. And why is that? Because this uh, is interlocked to the plastic channel. Our grate, whether it's a stainless steel reinforced, polypropylene plastic, swimming pools, stainless steel galvanized, whatever, all fit whatever is, in the same channel. All fit in the same channel. Yep. No need for cutting plywood. No need for uh, for holding that form because that does that with our uh, interlocking frame to the polypropylene trench. We also have ductile iron, what we, you know, in the, in the field we'll call dog ears. Um, those dog ears are for rebar uh, that you can drive into the ground and set your level of your trench to make sure it's level. The real beauty of this frame and trench is the weight distribution. Okay. A lot of times, you know, you'll have different class ratings of your trench drain grades. Um, different load classes, different weights, you'll have airports, gas stations, and so forth. A lot of heavy machinery. A lot of heavy machinery. Stuff. So, yeah. weight distribution becomes very integral to our trench drain. You've got forklifts going over this with thousands of pounds of material on the front of that forklift. You have flex and, and, and things that can happen, cracking of concrete. By us interlocking our frame to our polypropylene trench, that also allows the weight distribution as something goes over this frame of weight. The weight distribution is put into the concrete, the surrounding concrete around it. It is not supported on the plastic trench itself. So Brian, here we are, for example, on a job site, right? And we mentioned the dog ears and the channel distribution of the weight earlier. Can you walk me through what we're looking at here? Absolutely. What we have here is our ductile iron frame and our ductile iron ears with our 3 16 rod driven down into the ground and our set screw. What that allows is any weight that's driven over the top of this trench drain, that weight is distributed into the frame, the dog ear, and the rebar, not the trench drain. So it's essentially transferred off the main grid here down and through the ground. Correct. Okay. And then if you have the finished concrete right here, similarly on the other side, you would see the same thing. This Absolutely. is just a cutaway. Yep. Okay. Now we talk a lot about dead level trench, so that's the product name. But this is essentially a floating channel underneath of the main framework. Correct. Okay. So what makes it exactly dead level every time? So we get a dead level run on our trench every time because all of the sections we have set screws and all of the great sections are also fastened together. It pulls everything together and holds it dead level. Now the last thing that I'll mention that we have that is probably one of the most unique things uh, is a simple plastic construction cover. We all know where does everyone sweep all of the debris on the oh, job site? All the time. Right into the trench, easiest place to go. Yeah. 
All Watts dead level trench drain comes with a construction cover. Once you put the, the uh, trench in the ground, it's it. Slap your cover on until you are ready to turn the building over to the owner and it protects uh, the, the grading from any traffic or anything being swept into the trench. If, uh, if we need to find out more information, where do we go, who do we contact? www.watts.com. Click on drainage, uh, you'll find dead level trench drain uh, along with all of our other uh, drainage offerings. 20 years in the business. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Appreciate Dave. your time. See us next time on Contractor Corner. Thanks for stopping by.